Hello, in this video we're going to learn how to open the program Flash for the first time and we're going to create and animate a stick man using motion tween. So I've opened Flash here from my start menu which was start all programs and then I went all the way up to the top to my Adobe Suite folder and I opened Flash Professional CS 5.5 it's the little red icon with the F and the L in the square. Once you do that Flash will start to load and you'll get to this screen here. So what we do is we create a new action script 3. Click on this one at the top in the middle and that should start to load you a new Flash file. Now the first thing to do once you've got a new Flash file is we're going to animate in this white area here called the stage. So what we're going to do for the first the first time is we're going to load. So we're going to paint or draw our stick man. Now to do that I'm going to go over to the toolbar on my far right. Your toolbar might be somewhere else on your screen, it could be on the left, it could be on the bottom, it could be on the top, but it looks like this and there's a little paintbrush icon, the brush tool in it. So we'll click the brush tool like so and my properties here will change. If you can't see properties go to window and put a tick next to properties. We're going to change the colour of my line, I'm going to use black, so I'll click here and I'll choose a black line like so. And if you want to change the thickness of your line, you can do so there. Now you'll notice that I clicked by accident there and I drew a little dot, so I want to get rid of that. What I'm going to do is choose my eraser tool and I'm just going to erase over it. So back to my brush tool and be careful you don't go clicking around because you'll leave random dots everywhere. I'm going to draw my stick man. Like so, you'll notice it tidies up your lines for you a little bit, which is quite nice. There we go, it's a little bit tricky with the mouse, but just do your best. There we are. And then, without clicking anywhere else, I'm going to go back and I'm going to choose the black selection tool here. Once we've drawn our stick man, the next step is to select it and turn it into a symbol. So, I'm going to drag with my mouse a box around the whole of my stick man, like that, so he goes dotty. And then I can press F8 on my keyboard, that's at the top, it's got F8 on it. Or you can go to modify and choose convert to symbol. You'll see it says F8 there as well, because it shows you the shortcut keyboard key for the commands. So convert to symbol. I want to choose movie clip, and I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to call it stick man one. I click OK. There we are. There's my stick man as a symbol. And what that's done is it's grouped all of those separate arms and legs and head and smile and so on into one object that I can now move around. The next step is to animate. So what we're going to do now is start to use this section down here called the timeline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go along the timeline. Each of these blocks is one little frame of animation and that last stays on screen for about 1 24th of a second. So I'm going to choose about 50 frames there and click there and on my keyboard I'm going to press the F5 key. That puts in 49 more frames because I started with one and now it's inserted 49 more. Unfortunately in every frame my stick man is in the same place so when I play this by pressing space or rather enter it doesn't look like he's moving. So there are two more tips now. The first thing we do is we right click our timeline with the right mouse button and we choose create motion tween. That means your timeline goes blue so you can see that there's a motion tween in it. Next you click in the very last frame. Here. Not this one over here outside the timeline but here in the very last one and in the last frame, you grab your stick man, you'll know you can move him because you'll get a little four-way arrow next to your pointer. You grab your stick man and you move him to where you want him to finish, like so. There we are, like that. And now if I click back along my timeline, you'll see that the computer has filled in the gaps between starting in frame 1 and finishing in frame 50. And if I press enter, you'll see that my stick man has started to animate. 
If I want to animate more, I just click over here and repeat the process. Press F5. It's blue, so I don't need another motion tween. I don't need to do that twice. But I'll click in the last frame and I'll animate my stick man. And I will drag him to where I want him to go next, like so. And you'll see this green motion path line shows how he's going to move. There we go. So I've started to animate my stick man. Now it's your goal.